A lot of medical got flopolis here again. Dig in it, Danny. What's going on? What's the shiz? Yes, I am smirking a little. You know why? Just got a little bit of afternoon delight. But between you and me, don't tell anyone. Fucking nice. What else am I going to do there? That's what you should be fucking doing. What are you doing watching this fucking video? Anyway, I'm grateful that you are. Relax. Don't switch it off just yet. I've got something to share with you. I noticed a few of you are fucking digging the caterpillar jacket. It's a one-off. Don't go looking for it. You can't get it anymore. Even so, you gotta fucking wear it a certain way. Like this. Nice. Yes, you are correct. That is a Rickenbacker copy just to my right over here. And no, I'm not gonna play it. Alright, maybe later. But I can't be fucked plugging it in. You might hear something acoustic, unplugged, unvarnished, but 100% cocker flopolis. With a little bit of Sabbath thrown in there as well. A fuck with Geezer Butler. So I wanted to share something with you, this little fucking revelation that I had this morning when I was walking the dog and I was picking up her number twos. As you may or may not know, I've added lentils to her diet. And it's waking up a treat. They're firm, they're regular, they're little what I call peggy pellets. Nice. But when I take her in the morning, I usually got to take three or four bags. I don't know how many times she's going to stop and let one rip. My Peggy is a little territorial, if you know what I mean. She likes to leave little presents all over the fucking neighborhood. So anyway, she's doing the usual, stopping for a little bit here, walking along, stopping again. And I'm picking them up as we go along. And if the aliens came down at that moment, that's right, that's what they would ask. Who the fuck is the master here? Peggy's the master of my heart. Little shit. Push him on him. She's in the next room, curled up like a little fucking fluff ball. So I picked up her first two presents and then she stopped with the third one. I was like, I fucking knew it. Lucky I had the third bag. But as I reached down to pick up with that third bag, I felt a slight tiny little bit of wetness in this finger. I was like, surely not. But lo and behold, the bag had a little bit of a rip. And I looked closely at this finger, more so like this, at the nail. I knew what it was. I saw a tiny little brown schmear. I had to take a moment to take it in. Yes, I had some of her deposit just under my fingernail. And my instinct was to smell it. But then I said to myself, my lacquer, why the fuck are you going to smell that? You know what it is. You know what it's going to do to you. You're going to smell it. Your brain's going to remember that smell. You're going to get fucking PTSD there. What are you doing? But I talked to myself. I said, Manny... Exercise a little bit of self-discipline right here and now and resist the urge. And then it got me thinking about the times that we're living in and the social media and all the malakias that are out there and the urge for us to go online and look up bad news, knowing that it's going to be bad news. And it takes energy, self-discipline and a strong will to abstain from that. To try and resist that little hit of dopamine that we all get whenever we look up some fucking bad news and we go, fucking hell, again these cunts. Feels good to get online and go, you cunts are fucked there. I've gone fucking whole days where I've had it out with cunts online. I ended up shutting them up in the end, but I do remember consciously saying to myself, all right, this morning I'm in the mood to fuck with cunts online. Get those me, sir. I'm not fucking around here. I'm very good with a written word because I understand nuance. But even still, it's negative. It's not positive, right? So yes, what I've just described to you is a many metaphor. Fucking sick. But far be it from me to be one of these fucking preachy cunts. Every time I say shit like this, I'm actually projecting as well. I'm telling you and I'm telling myself. If we can resist every so often the urge to fucking smell that bad smell on our finger, we might be better off for it. Man. Having said that, though, it does feel good every so often to get on there and go, You can't so fuck it out! Kasimori, eh? Kaftoru, peg, sut.